everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the new Bath & Body Works holiday collections. I am so, so excited. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight cents to talk about. This is not all of them. And But as you know, on my channel, I do not talk about scents that I don't like. And I'm not going to purchase them just for a review. But these are the ones that I really enjoyed. So if you are new here, hello, my name is Anna. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday. I do a lot of beauty, body care type of videos. I've gotten really into Bath & Body Works content over the past couple of months. So let's go ahead and get started. There are a bunch of new collections that are coming out and there is a storybook collection or something like that launching this week, the week that I am uploading this video. And it has three scents in it. Three or four, I want to say. So it has Bright Christmas Morning, Jolly Gingerbread Village, and Frosty Coconut Snowball. So I did smell the minis of them. They're not for me. And I just know that I would not <laughs> get any use out of them. But I do want to talk about their new faceted collection, their holiday traditions collection, and then this other collection, I don't know the name of it, but you know, the one with fairy tale in it. Let's start off with the holiday traditions. So the holiday traditions line consists of three scents. They come out every single year. Occasionally they'll add a fourth or a fifth. Um, and this year they added one. So the three tradition scents they come out with every single year are Winter Candy Apple, Twisted Peppermint, and Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, I am die hard for it, uh, Winter Candy Apple. I love Winter Candy Apple. I think it's a fantastic fragrance. So hence, I did get the full size of both. I, did, I thought I was going to get a mini, but then I smelled this and I was like, oh, full size. <laughs> so these, they did put them in a faceted collect, like packaging this year. Looks really luxe and elegant, but um, they also have Twisted Peppermint. So Twisted Peppermint is like a sweet mint type of scent. Um, it's not something that I would wear for body care. Um, I did get it in a hand sanitizer because I would use it in a hand sanitizer. Not for me in body care. And then there's Vanilla Bean Noel. And it's too sweet of a scent for me. I love a good fruity scent. It's too vanilla caramel for me personally. So I don't, I like that scent in like hand soap. Like I don't, I don't like it in um, body care or anything. Winter candy apple. So I want to go through that. And then I also want to talk about golden berry mistletoe. So this is winter candy apple. Love this scent. I've loved it for years, probably 15 years. I've loved this scent. Um, but in here we have red apples, winter rose petals, candy, candied oranges, maple leaf, and fresh cinnamon. It's a fruity scent. If you are a fruity scent lover, you're going to love this. Adore this fragrance. <laughs> and I did not need a full size of the fragrance mist for sure. But you, uh, for me personally, I I don't really remember seeing winter rose petals as a note in the past, but what I do really smell um, are the red apples, the candy oranges, and the fresh cinnamon. Then they had this scent called Golden Berry Mistletoe, and I was unsure if I was gonna like this one because I don't know. So I'm, you know, I just kind of saw it and I was like, hmm, is this like a dupe of Gingham Heart of Gold? I haven't heard people comparing the two. So these. This is the packaging, again, so beautiful. But the notes in here are sh sparkling berries, sugared spruce, and frosted air. What I kind of interpret the scent as, and keep in mind, like, everyone's scent preferences are different, but what I smell from this is like a berry type of scent, but then a little bit of like, almost balsam. I love it, I think it's amazing. This would not only be great for the holidays, but all winter long and I think this is a hit um, with this traditions collection the low I do get the lotions I don't get the body creams anymore because I find I can I don't go through these as quickly but the lotions are $15.95 so you can use a reward on it but the fragrance mists are $17.95 so you cannot use a reward on those also they have this new like quilted like <laughs> type of like line so they had Dahlia comeback you're the one champagne toast and dark kiss so I'm not a fan of Dahlia or you're the one Dahlia is a little heavy on the rose for me like almost like 
artificial like old lady rose. And then Champagne Toast, I already own, so love that scent so much. If you know me, you know. <laughs> um, and then You're the One I've never been a fan of. It, it's not for me. But when I saw they were coming out with Dark Kiss, they were like re-releasing it. I love Dark Kiss. <laughs> so it has this beautiful packaging for the holidays. The notes in here are Black Raspberry, Burgundy Rose, Bergamot Incense, Dark Vanilla Bean, and Plum Musk. This is definitely like a fruity, musky type of scent. It's very rich. This always reminds me of Sensual Amber because I remember when these originally launched, <laughs> they came out at the same time. If you don't really like black raspberry, plummy, musky scents like this, you're not gonna like this. But I personally really enjoy Dark Kiss and if, you know, it's this has been out again for years. So if you used to like Dark Kiss, I don't smell any difference between this and when it first came out years ago. It smells so good. It's a perfect like wintry kind of more sexy scent, but it's not like spicy or anything. It's a sweeter kind of sexy scent, if that makes sense. <laughs> Next, they came out with this kind of like foresty kind of collection. I don't know if there was a name for it. I fell in love with all four scents. Why? <laughs> Would you expect anything else from me? Um, the first one they did is re-release Fairy Tale, which I never really got to smell Fairy Tale. I really enjoyed it. I was like, mm, is because I've heard people compare Chasing Fireflies to Fairy Tale, and I was like, ooh, I didn't like Chasing Fireflies, so I'm probably not gonna like this. Well, I was wrong. I love this. <laughs> the packaging on here looks very holiday. I like that they they included like a little deer over here. Like, I love this packaging, uh, but the notes in here are pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. You can definitely smell like the fruitiness of it, whereas Chasing Fireflies was more like heavy perfume and I did not like it. This reminds me of, what does it remind me of? Some like luxurious perfume it reminds me of. My goodness, so um, each one of these bottles has the same saying on it, but it says, wander into the enchanted forest where snowflakes sparkle, the trees glisten with frost, and the jewel toned sky brightens the night. That's adorable. So again, the fragrance mist for this one are $17.95, which you cannot use your reward on, but the lotions in here are $15.95. This smells like some sort of like fancy perfume. I can't put my my finger on it, but if you know if fairy tale is supposed to be like a dupe, let's actually look it up. It's supposed to be like a dupe of YSL Libre. Honestly, I wasn't a fan of YSL Libre. It was a little spicy. I don't smell that with this one. Maybe I do, but I like this one. I did not really care for YSL Libre very much, but oh my gosh, this is very nice. This is, it could be a year round scent. Any one of these could be a year round scent. <laughs> Next is Snowflakes and Cashmere. This is a re-release. Um, and look at the packaging on this. There's a freaking bunny on it. <laughs> so the notes in here are Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, and Frosted Clementine. This is a warmer, cashmere type of scent. I almost pick up a little bit of amber from it and vanilla. So it's a very cozy scent. This would be a good fall-winter scent for me because it does smell very heavy on the cashmere. I don't know if I could see myself wearing this in the summer, but it's a very warm, cozy, I don't really smell like caramel woods or anything, but it is a really, this is a really nice scent. And I have smelled this before and I liked it before. So I'm really excited that they came back with this. Also came back with strawberry snowflakes. I know this one was so popular. Um, was it last year or the year before? But they, look at the packaging on this. There's a little squirrel up there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, the, so the notes in here are juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. This is going to be your little more gourmand fruity scent. Honestly, this, I like all of these a lot. This might be my least favorite. It's like almost like a berries and cream type of scent. Strawberry cream scent. But I like that they added the bergamot in there for a little bit of like like depth to it because I think it would have been too sweet on its own for me. This is very nice, but if you don't like sweet fairy scents or with notes of like whipped cream, this is not gonna be the one for you. Um, but the what Winterberry Wonder is, this is like the more, this is like the like hot older sister of strawberry snowflakes. Winterberry Wonder. So this has like some cute little birds on it. Oh, 
again so beautiful so the notes in here are ruby frost winterberry sparkling cranberry and crystal vanilla and i believe this one is also a re-release again this has more of that cranberry note so it's a little bit more of a tart berry scent the winterberry again you know it's a little more on this like i don't want to say like a sexy side but like a little bit more tart fruity not as sweet fruity like strawberry snowflakes i don't smell too much of like a vanilla in it but i like this one more than strawberries um strawberry snowflakes though that's just my honest thoughts on that i did pick up a few hand sanitizers as well so you guys know uh, in my luminous video that i did i'll link it down below there were some holiday um, hand sanitizers that i did pick up i picked up four cents um so i did get like i said twisted peppermint of course i got golden berry mistletoe and winter candy apple even though i did not need a winter candy apple <laughs> And then this um, snowy peach berry. So snowy peach berry is a scent that comes out in like candles and hand soaps every year. I want them to make this into body care. It's a nice peachy scent. Honestly, I don't really see how this could be like a fall scent. <laughs> like I think they can just put like snowy in front of it and then like call it good. But I got two of those. Um, I did get one aromatherapy item, but one aromatherapy scent. But I want to show you this. So I, there were so many cute hand sanitizer holders. You guys know I already got the dog right in my luminous video. But I also did get the cat. I wanted to get the mouse, but the mouse was actually recalled due to some defects. And I wasn't about to get like eight different holiday look like Christmas looking ones. So I just settled on the cat and the cat pops up and down. I don't know if I can like get it back in there, but like, how cute is that? And it has like a little like headband with some trees on it. I think it's so cute. It was $6.95. So it says insert a pocket back to reveal this festive cat. So let's try it. So I'm putting my pocket back in. And there you go. So I think that's really cute. It's nothing fancy, but that was the one that I kind of settled on. Also, they came out with two aromatherapy scents. They came out with an orange ginger scent and then they came out with eucalyptus pine. Now, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, the packaging is amazing. But eucalyptus pine was a scent that I was a little unsure of. <laughs> um, you know, it's called Northern Brights. And um, basically that, that's the note, eucalyptus and pine. But it does say on the back of the lotion here, all the aromatherapy lotions are in a glass bottle. Really nice. I love their aromatherapy line, by the way. But it says a blended aroma of eucalyptus essential oil and pine extract to inspire and captivate. Embrace this blissful moment in a Nordic forest and experience the beauty of the dancing northern lights. There you go. They also have like body cream, moisturizing shower gel, shower gel, you know, all this stuff. I love a good eucalyptus scent. Um, I like the Necessaire body wash. Um, love stress relief. I've loved it for like 15 years and I just re-upped it. I got a mini of the essential oil mist. I should have gotten a big one, honestly. But this lotion especially is so good. But this one, it gives me like winter vibes. I definitely, like the pine and the eucalyptus are both so heavy in there. Honestly, if you were to tell me something, like bring a note to mix with eucalyptus, the last thing I would have probably said was pine. <laughs> but this does give a little bit more of a masculine um, kind of vibe. I don't want to say mahogany teakwood, but almost like a cologne type of scent, but it's not overbearing. I think it's just because pine is really heavily associated with male fr male colognes, but oh my gosh, this is so nice and so unexpected because I didn't really think this would be a scent that I would enjoy, and I really like this. Um, so if you like pine scents you like the fresh balsam candle the tree farm candle if you would like golden berry mistletoe i would say you might like northern brights but this is definitely a scent that i would recommend smelling in person just because i think it can be so polarizing and if you don't yet like eucalyptus or you don't like pine you will not like this so i was very pleasantly surprised i love this and i'm so excited that i do love it because I love the packaging too. So there you go, everyone. That is my holiday collection review. Honestly, I'm not gonna really buy anything until 
I want to say Candle Day because I did get a sneak peek. We saw a sneak peek on Life Inside the Page for their Black Friday box. It's Pure Wonder this year and I don't like Pure Wonder. That box is just going to be a hard pass for me. I might get it and like gift it. I don't know. <laughs> but I think my next big haul, maybe not so big of a haul, um, I want to say it will be... I might get a couple candles on candle day, but I don't really need a lot of candles. I might want to do body care day and just get some re-ups on some of my favorite items. That would be really nice to do. Yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what scents that you absolutely loved from these collections, what scents you're excited for Bath & Body Works to come out with, and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye!